Hey guys, welcome to Digital Strini channel on YouTube. And in this video, I'm going to talk about my weekend plans. Well, as it relates to updating myself on the topic of machine learning and artificial intelligence. And I'm doing this because many of you asked me uh, how I update myself on the latest uh, things that are happening in this field. Well, I scour the internet and I find articles and latest uh, publications that I find to be a bit interesting. I bookmark them and over the weekend I try to browse through them and if they are even more interesting, I'll take some time to dig into them and personally get a bit more uh, familiarized with that uh, with that. Specific topic. So here are uh, four things that I found and I bookmarked for this weekend. Well, I'm not sure if I'll get to all of those, especially I'm planning a 50 kilometer uh, uh, bicycle ride. So let's see how many of these I can get to. But let me share the links to these. So you if you think these are interesting, you can also go through them. And most of these are published just this week, which is the week of today's what July 15th. So this is uh, these are all published uh, this week so uh, they are hopefully uh, highly relevant well this is july 15 2021 so uh, let me just go ahead and uh, quickly provide a summary and explain why i'm interested in so at least uh, if you are related if you relate to these topics at least you can go ahead and dig through them so first thing i looked at uh, this image super resolution. Super resolution is always a topic that I'm uh, that interested me, and this is literally the paper that got published uh, two days ago, I think, uh, uh, sometime July 10th, 11th, 12th of 2021, and this is by the Google research team. So it's not like some some uh, some person on GitHub publishing a code. Uh, and uh, this interests me because this is again the third iteration. This is SR3 super resolution and uh, they are talking about iterative refinement. Again, I haven't read this, so I cannot speak a lot about this. I do have uh, at least browsed through the abstract right there and it looked uh, very interesting. So if you are interested in generative adversarial networks and especially super resolution, then maybe this is, uh, this is of interest to you guys. And the other thing I bookmarked is, uh, as you probably know, if you follow my channel, that I am a big sucker for units and unit-based architectures. And uh, this is, again, a latest paper on coronary artery segmentation under class imbalance using units. I'm pretty sure most of you who are working with uh, units can relate to class imbalance and uh, semantic segmentation. So I'm curious about what this paper is all about and uh, and uh, and and see if uh, there is something new here. The other one, I'm not even sure where the authors are. I just I just uh, bookmarked this based on uh, based on the title. And the next one is uh, correlator convolutional neural networks. Again, I got a bit interested in this because uh, again, based on the abstract, let me go ahead and quickly summarize this. The you know how when you use convolutional neural networks. It's not a linear training, right? It's highly nonlinear, meaning if there is a filter that's helping in making a decision, you don't know why that's helping. What is the, where is the correlation? So apparently in this paper, they're proposing this interpreter, interpretable architecture, and they call this the uh, correlator convolutional neural networks. And hopefully one day we can actually go back and understand why deep learning is working on, uh, on, your, on your data. Uh, meaning at what uh, convolution layers and what type of filters, why are those filters trained the way they are, and uh, what is the correlation between that and, uh, and uh, you know, the final result. So that's at least the hope that I have uh, in, uh, uh, in, in uh, you know, the hope of gaining that type of knowledge when I read this, uh, when I read this paper. So anyway, that's the reason I bookmarked this. And finally, all of these are published this week, uh, literally the week of uh, July 10th to about 15th, uh, 2021. And I also saved one from uh, two year, uh, last year actually, 2020, I believe. And I saved this because uh, I, like, I like music, who doesn't? And this one talks about a generative model for music and uh, that really interested me. So again, I bookmark this. We'll see if I can get to this. This would be a bonus if I can uh, read this paper. There you go. These are the four things that I plan on doing this week. And if you really would like me to share this material almost on a weekly basis, go ahead and hit the like button or comment. Just let me know one way or the other.
then I'll make these almost on a weekly basis. Let's see if I have time. But uh, almost on a weekly basis, I do try to save some of these, uh, you know, uh, this AI and machine learning related material because this is a rapidly evolving field. And if you learn about something, uh, a, a technique from three, four years ago, or even from last year's, maybe that is an obsolete, well, not obsolete, but maybe there is a much better way of doing things today compared to six months ago. Okay, thank you guys again. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And uh, do like these videos so I know to make more such content. Thank you.